Well, hey friends, welcome back to my channel for another weekly grocery haul and meal plan video. Um, this one's gonna be one that you have never seen me do before. You can probably tell from the title that we are at Trader Joe's. And if you've been following me for a while, you probably are like, Brittany, you're gonna do your weekly grocery shopping at Trader Joe's? And the answer is yes, I'm gonna try to because we have most of our like staples. We have most of them already, um, like Finley's milk and stuff like that that we need to get like either at Food Line or Walmart or wherever. We have a lot of that. And so I thought what better time than now to come to Trader Joe's, check out their fall stuff, check out some new meals. That's another thing I want to incorporate some different types of dinners into our routine. And I thought Trader Joe's would be a good start to just kind of check out the stuff that they have. So we're going shopping at Trader Joe's today. I'm pretty excited about it. You guys know that I love their flowers, so you know we'll be picking some of that up, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. First though, I wanna tell you that today's video is sponsored by the brand LifeWit. If you've been around for a while, then you remember that LifeWit sent me a couple of products probably a little over a year ago. They sent us the um, rug that's by our back door. It's like a dirt catching rug. We absolutely love it. And then they also sent us some pillows that we really like. But this time I actually picked out these containers for pantry storage. I'm continuously trying to improve my pantry storage. You guys know that. Um, I've done so many videos on it. And when they offered this product to me to share with you guys, it really like, I don't know, spoke to me, hey, I could use this as a way to even further my pantry organization. So what I did before we came to Trader Joe's was just went through our pantry, kind of wrote out these containers. you got the large ones, the medium sized ones, the small ones. I'm gonna be honest, the small ones will probably end up being used like for school lunches and stuff like that because they're a good size for that. But the bigger ones we are going to be using for rice and pasta and goldfish and all of that stuff. So I went through and organized it as I'm showing you here. Um, I highly recommend these containers. They are a good high quality. The snap closure is perfect on them and um, everything that I have gotten from LifeWit so far has been an amazing product. I highly recommend them. So I will link them down below. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I had set up prior to coming here and LifeWit was a big part of that. They, you know, allowed me to be able to share this product with you guys. I'll link it below. You will not be disappointed. These are definitely a more affordable version of the more popular ones that you see in the grocery stores. So, okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Trader Joe's and we will do our grocery shopping for the week, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> will you hold this for mommy? All right, so we're gonna pick some flowers out because I love their flowers. Sunflowers. Usually I like to go with some of these. Like these ones right here are really pretty. So these are $5.99. So I think we'll get some hydrangeas. What? Maybe some white. Watermelon. Hmm, what else? Let's see. So we got blue hydrangeas. Maybe we'll just get two things of blue hydrangeas. Make a big old hydrangea bouquet. I don't know, we'll see. Let's pick flowers. So they have bread right up front. Oh, look at that. Pizza crust. We could do homemade pizzas one night. Yeah. And put, grab that. <laughs> Roasted tomato and Parmesan bread. I think I'm going to grab. Let's see. Let's see what else. They're cherries. So they're $8.99 for the sweet red cherries. But we're going to go with the Temptation Seedless Grapes for $6.49 for two pounds of them. We also got some bread products, some muffins, some flowers. There's a lot of people in here right now though. I didn't finish the bread because there was just so many people over here, but let's see. 
Tuscan pan bread. We need a loaf for um, sandwiches. Hmm. Come here, baby. I think I'm gonna do this soft white bread. You trying to put your shoes on? So here's kind of what our cart's looking like. There's so many people in here. Look just how many people. Lots of people in here. All right, let's look at some of these salads. Harvest chicken grilled salad. Picking out some yogurt. These little six packs are $2.99, which isn't a bad deal. I'm gonna get, I think, some of this French vanilla whole milk yogurt for me. Here you go. You put that in there. Okay. Come on, dude. All right, so they have something called Saturn peaches. I've never seen that before. My kids don't really like peaches, so. All right? Yeah. All right, moving along here. Let's see. We got some tea. Unsweetened tea. If this was sweet, I might give it a go for Chris. Yeah, these are all unsweetened. So many options for little frozen meals. I'm thinking this might be good. I might get two of these and me and Chris eat these for dinner. What? Snow? Yep. Me and Chris eat these for dinner one night. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. We'll see what else we can find. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we are back from Trader Joe's. I didn't do much filming in there because I think I showed you guys towards the end. There was so many people in there. And when we went to check out, I kind of joked about that with the cashier. And she was like, yeah, you should come in here on a Sunday. So apparently it's much worse on Sunday even than it was on Saturday. But you could barely move like we were waiting three four five people deep just to go down an aisle um like waiting in line max is barking at piper um but yeah so i didn't do a ton of filming i got what i could and you know i showed it before this apparently most likely that's what i do um but so what i did basically i didn't have a list or anything and i know you guys are also probably thinking that that's not a good idea for me and it actually turned out okay today so while we were going through the store i kind of was just coming up with meals in my head based on stuff I was seeing um, and, you know, taking note of that in my mind and making sure we had enough meals. And then when I got home, I wrote down what we, what meals I had sort of planned for in this trip. And I ended up doing a pretty good job. We also got most of our produce for the week. I got the kids milk. So really we should only have to go back to the store for A2 milk for Kylie and maybe some crackers for Chris because I did not see, um, saltines or like Ritz crackers or any like even a Trader Joe's version of those I didn't see them but so those are the only two things that I think that we should have to go back to the store for I did spend a hundred and sixty six dollars this week which is a little bit over our month or our weekly budget of 150 but it is what it is it wasn't that far over and we got some good stuff so for our meals this week lots of different things going on here we are going to be having mandarin orange chicken with rice a caesar salad which is pretty typical for us mexican mexican street corn with homemade chicken taquitos chicken sandwiches with hand cut fries gnocchi i hope i'm saying that right and then we're going to be having homemade pizza so without further ado i'm going to go ahead jump in and show you all of the goodies that we got this week at trader joe's so it covers the whole table again this week. We got a good number of things. We also got a lot of stuff for like Kylie to have for lunches and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and start. I picked up these giggly pastas. Now I don't actually have a plan in mind for these for this week. However, I just thought that they were so cute. So it's the organic Italian artisan pasta. Um, and it says giggly. So these were like $2.99 or something like that but you get a whole pound, over a pound of it. And I think that we could probably get two or like one big meal out of it or two like side items out of it. So picked that up. The girls were gonna need some yogurt. Kylie's been taking one every day in her lunchbox. 
So we picked up these Trader Joe's blueberry and cream, and then it has some vanilla and cream as well. I'm not sure. I'm assuming there's three and three. That's what I'm thinking. So Kylie, I think will like these for lunch. And it says milk from cows, not treated with RBST. So got those. I got a thing of broccoli. Oh, it says cauliflower, but I don't actually see any cauliflower. Oh, there is a few in there. That's okay. I don't like cauliflower, but it looks like there's like literally three of them in there. So I will just pick that out. This is the Mexican street corn stuff that we like. So it's the Mexican style roasted corn with cojita cheese. I got two of them. We're going to have one with the chicken taquitos and then the other one we'll have with something else or Chris will eat it by himself. He loves this stuff. The roasted potatoes with peppers and onions is another thing that I didn't have a plan for, but something that I like to get from Trader Joe's. So I went ahead and picked up a bag of this. The shredded mozzarella cheese is for pizza. And then I have some sandwich meat and stuff. So I got this sliced Colby Jack cheese and then some of this rotisserie season seasoned chicken breast lunch meat. So that should be good for mine and Kylie's lunches. And then Finley said that she wanted some pepperoni. So I've never heard of that brand before, but you know, I'm sure it's fine. So grabbed that for her to have with lunches. Now you guys saw in the footage that I picked up some like pre-made pizza crusts and I ended up putting those back because I saw these um, fresh dough ones. So I grabbed three of these. It just says Trader Joe's ready to bake pizza dough. So I grabbed three of these for the night that we are doing homemade pizza, a bag of sweet peas back there for the kids. I don't think I showed this um, gnocchi yet. This one is, it says it's in a rich creamy sauce with provolone and Romano cheeses and whole black peppercorns, which sounds delicious to me. So I grabbed two bags of it because one bag is really not that much. And me, Bryson and Chris will all eat this for dinner one night. So I grabbed two bags of that. This is the snack that the kids picked this week, or Kylie and Finley picked. It's the white cheddar corn puffs. And then for Bryson and Chris, I thought they might, th might like this Carolina Gold barbecue flavored ridge cut potato chips. It's made out of the um, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce that Trader Joe's sells that I actually bought, and I'll show you in a minute. A thing of these hand cut fries, that's for the night that we do the chicken sandwiches. This is the mandarin orange chicken. So it says a savory dish of tender battered chicken with mandarin orange ginger sauce. So I thought that that sounded delicious. I just had to make sure it didn't have, sometimes they're fried in peanut oil and I probably should have checked that out, but no, these ones are not. So we're gonna have that one night for dinner. And then this was something that we grabbed Kylie. This is a Bambino pizza. So they're tiny little pizzas. There's four in a box and these are going to be for her school lunches. So I'm also going to be doing a school lunch box idea video that will come out if not this week, next week. So stay on the lookout for that. We got some mandarins. These looked good and they were only a little over $3. One thing of strawberries because they were really expensive there. They were like um, $3.99 for this little thing of strawberries. So I only went with one. Then there are two bags of Caesar style um, salad dressing, the kit. I probably will use one of these the night that me and Chris have um, salad for dinner. And then the other one will get me a couple of lunches through the week. We got some grapes. These are the Temptation Green Seedless Table Grapes. I did pick out some flowers. So there's three different bunches in here. We got this one, these ones, and then there's just like a greenery one down there. So I'm going to take them and kind of make one big bouquet out of all of them. Let's see what else is over here. We have a gallon of whole milk for Bryson and Kylie. These Scandinavian swimmers, I was trying to give the girls while we were shopping so that they would, you know, cooperate, but they both said they didn't like them. So I'm hoping Bryson likes them. A thing of the Trader Joe's pizza sauce. And then I grabbed this cowboy caviar salsa. So it's corn, black bean, and pepper salsa. I grabbed this for Chris. We already have tortilla chips, so I didn't have to get those, but I'm, I'm thinking he's really gonna like that. These mini bagels, the plan for these is for Kylie to take 
a mini bagel, put a little, oops, sorry about that, put a little bit of cream cheese on it with some chocolate chips and make it into a sandwich for her to have like breakfast for lunch at school. She thought that was a great idea, so that is what we got the cream cheese and the bagels for. I got a bag of the chicken breast meat. Kylie picked out, and she's holding them, these um, chocolate cats for her school lunches as well. So we're gonna throw a few of these in her um, like little bent go style box that we have. There you go. I picked up these cookies just because I thought they looked good. They're the Aussie style chocolate cream sandwich cookies coated in chocolate. Um, and they did not have any peanut in them either. So thought that we would enjoy trying those as a special treat. We needed some cooking spray. So I grabbed this organic canola oil cooking spray. A mac and cheese dinner just to have Kylie try. These were a little pricey. It was like $2.50 for this. So I'm not sure that that'll be something we purchase over and over again, but she did want to give it a try this time. And now she's over there opening those cookies. Um, I have been really enjoying yogurt. So I got this organic French vanilla whole milk yogurt for me for breakfast. And then I did get some everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend because I figured that I would end up eating a couple of these bagels either for breakfast or for lunches. So I will use this on the cream cheese. I got some double chocolate muffins. The girls wanted those. And then this is the Carolina Gold. My goodness, did you get it open? <laughs> this is the Carolina Gold barbecue sauce that I was talking about. Chris loves this stuff. It is so good on like chicken to barbecue it or just to dip stuff in it is so good so we grabbed one of those a fresh squeezed unpasteurized lemonade a bunch of bananas and then back here is a thing of soft white bread and that is everything that we got from Trader Joe's today along with our meal plan I think I did pretty good for the first time going in there you know trying to actually grocery shop in there Pretty sure I did a pretty good job, if you ask me. So that's our grocery haul for this week. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, thank you to LifeWit for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys on Wednesday for a What I Eat in a Day as a Plus Size Mama 3 video, a full-length video this time, not just a short. So stay on the lookout for that. Until then, guys, I hope you have a fantastic Monday, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.